Okay, Maria, sorry. Uh, university students nowadays seem to have too much freedom and do not study enough. Well, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Explain your opinion. Okay. So this could, I think, be boosted a little bit. I would go a slightly shorter intro, but just, or make this bigger, make this bigger. It's really important because I know you can get this band seven, but we need to really kind of work on this structure here. Now these students at universities have more flexibility than they used to because of the new online learning system implemented. implemented. You don't need that around the world due to the COVID situation. As a consequence of this freedom, learners are, so not all of them, but you could go, many learners are not studying the, necess studying the necessary, the necessary amount to achieve graduation. You can't study the necessary, but you can study the necessary amount to achieve graduation. I firmly agree. Don't do this, it's a little bit lazy. I firmly agree that this new liberty and that instead of freedom uh, may be causing problems and this essay will discuss. So it is quite long, I agree, take out that little bit, but I firmly agree that. Okay. Try not to use with this statement. You don't need to. You're fine using examples. Okay. Now, one of the reasons why most learners are not taking university seriously. Now, you don't need here the university. Now, it's in general. It's because they're not dedicating. Okay, we've had that necessary. Choose another word. Not necessary. Time, motivation, and determination to their studies. Let's get some lovely long vocabulary in here. I know you've got this vocab. Today, almost all cl classes given by yeah are being recorded. And as a result, students are not required to be at any specific time. At B, at a given lecture hall or Seminar. So use some vocabulary to do with university at a specific time for taking a course. A recent study has indicated, give me a bit more. This means that many are missing value, vital content. Yeah. Uh, failing to write the required assignments and therefore failing their end of year exams, okay? This is what's missing. This extra, this means that. So see how much we, information we've added. So remember, this means that. This is because. Those are your friends, those statements. This means that, yeah? Remember those, use those to expand this. Then you can get into your study. When students have flexibility, they often do not. Now, some of them do, so we have to be a bit gentle here. Often do not dedicate it. These hedging, it's called hedging, uh, tentative language. So it's these words like often, and it's the words like could, might, may. Not can, I don't like can, but these ones are really important. Okay, so... Uh, therefore could be failing you could put in here so just to show you what I mean here so really good but you need to give me more in this paragraph another reason students are failing their studies is that they so we need, need to repeat students are not socializing with a new online method as they used to okay are socializing less because of uh, nowadays, participation in virtual classrooms is through a chat. And for most of the class, the video camera is not mandatory, okay? Uh, as a result, yeah, they're losing socialization skills. They're losing the confidence to point their, uh, give their viewpoint. They're losing the ability to debate. They are not being challenged. Maybe they're not challenging their tutors. 
therefore they're not learning. So this extra, call it the value added if you like, this value added is really, really important. That's what's missing here, Maria. Everything else is amazing, but this was what you need to do, okay? Uh, learners are often or frequently losing motivation, end up not studying as they used to, okay, end up not studying, uh, meeting new friends, working as a team, keep pushing this, yeah? as they used to. So give me give me more in here. Okay? In conclusion, there are many reasons why students are not performing as they should in their classes. Uh, yeah, but you're not asked to talk about why. You're asked to talk about the freedom. Okay? Uh, the new system. Yeah? As a result of the new system or um, as a result of the flexibility and uh, more relaxed attitude from universities. So you know what the reasons are. New methods. Okay, good. So I don't think you need that. I take that out. I firmly believe, okay. Were, could do a nice conditional here, this to be rebalanced and more integration required. Yeah, there is no doubt that a corresponding uh, ray rise in grades could be forthcoming. Okay, that's a very good sentence at the end there. Um, so I'm using a reverse conditional structure. Let's get some points on grammar. Okay, were this to be rebalanced? Um, Maria, you're so nearly there. I don't want you to fall down on this one. Okay, so on this essay, you get it. The content's lovely, but you need to add more value here. And here, consider adding some more grammar, okay? And make sure you mix up your vocabulary. Show me technical vocabulary to do with universities, technical vocabulary to do with achievements, qualifications, grades, outcomes. You are studying like crazy all the time. You know this vocab. Show it to me, yeah? Uh, that is going to really, really help you get this band seven. Okay. All right. Really good luck. I know you're working super hard. Make sure you take some time off as well. Okay. Well done.